You know, there is a sickness that is going on in this country right here that just simply cannot be explained. I, I guess this is just my lot here this morning, but I got to get up from this desk because I tell you, man, it makes you want to just literally choke the living life out of people. Mom admits that she let men rape her daughters, ages five and six, for money. Can you believe that? Morgan Summerlin, source, Fulton County Jail. Allow, warning, this article contains graphic details that may be upsetting the readers. A Georgia mother has pleaded guilty to allowing men to rape her daughters in exchange for money. According to Fulton County's district attorney's office, the five-year-old and six-year-old sisters told their guardian that their mother, 25-year-old Morgan Summerlin, took them to men's homes to be molested and raped for money. Oh, mercy. Ain't this about like this pizza gate and pedophilia that's going on up there in Washington, too? These are some sick folks. These are some sick folks. These ain't nothing but a bunch of demonic devils. In one instance, Summerlin alleged allegedly took the girls to see Richard Office 78. The children knew Office as Pop, a man who gave their mother drugs. The girl said Office touched them both inappropriately and raped one of them before giving their mother $100. Uh, is this real? I mean, it's real. It's got the NBC News logo and everything up here. In another situation, someone brought the sisters um, to the home of Alfredo Terlanio, where they were raped and molested, and the girls were given cash, which they handed over to their mother. Summerlin pleaded guilty to charges of cruelty to children, enticing a child for indecent purposes, and trafficking a person for sexual servitude. She will be sentenced June the 4th. Sentence. Sentence. Why don't we just make this one quick? Bring her out in front of the courthouse and hang her. Put her in front of a firing squad and kill her. That's simple. That's justice. The victim's grandmother, Teresa Davis, um, pleaded guilty to cruelty to children. Davis failed to protect the children after they told her that they were being abused. Her five-year prison term was commuted to time served with the balance to be served on probation. Office has been found guilty of rape, child molestation, trafficking, a person for sexual servitude, enticing a child for indecent purposes and sexual battery and has been sentenced to life in prison plus 146 years. I don't get this life in prison stuff. Why tax the taxpayer when you got these wicked devilish people like this and give them three squares and a cop? You know, I, I guess, you know, I, I know the reason why some people out there, especially religious folks, have a problem with Pastor Dow. Because I'm just real. I'm just straight up real. I know what the law of the Lord thy God says. And I'm for it 100%. And you think that's going to bring some closure by locking them up for the rest of their lives when you can get a bunch of closure by ridding these cancerous, disease-minded people from the face of planet Earth? Problem is, everybody's so wicked, there's very few righteous in this earth that they can actually even adjudicate matters like this and bring about a right consciousness. To hello. I guess that's how you pronounce his name, T-R-E-J-O, was convicted of rape, child molestation, sexual battery, aggravated child molestation, enticing a child for indecent purposes, and trafficking a person for sexual servitude. He was sentenced to 25 years in prison, plus life on probation. It is just difficult to imagine facts that are more horrific than those found in this case. I am hoping that these two little girls can somehow survive the abuse and grow into healthy adults who can lead a productive and fulfilling life, District Attorney Paul L. Howard Jr. said. I tell you, I include a 
news article link down there below. Doesn't it seem to be systemic in this wicked country called America? Don't don't it seem to be systemic? That that what happens too many times more often than not, because there's a spirit that comes with this type of behavior, these little girls, because they've been abused, nine times out of ten, they usually end up promiscuous. And um and then their life goes to pot, they end up on drugs, opioids, meth, or uh, cocaine or crack or whatever. They don't understand what love is because they've been defiled. They've been violated. Stuff like this, it gets my heart. It rips it. It tears it up. It really, really, truly does. As heinous as these acts are, they need to be talked about because they need to be constantly put at the forefront of our minds how much you need to protect children. Really, they need it. Especially from sick, psycho, undiagnosed, mental, mentally sick, so-called mothers. God. Damn, this, I don't know how much I can take of this stuff.